Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Tauruses their monthly love read. Taurus, this is for November 2022. Um, I know it's November 11th, so this will be the remainder of November. We're going to get cards on you, them, and the connection. This is going to be a general read, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, then go ahead and click on your moon or rising signs. If you're unfamiliar with what your moon or your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll take you to a web page to get you that information. There's also a link in the web, um, in the description below that will take you to my personal web page if you're interested in a personal read. Oh, all right, guys. Oh, interesting. Mm, interesting. Ooh, interesting, guys. This is, I'm going to have to clarify because I'm not really sure. Oh, sorry, what is happening here? Um, so we have the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So to me, oh, higher level commitment underneath that. I feel like this is a situation in which there's a lack of trust. I don't think it's because you guys aren't trustworthy. I think it's because of your past history. Um, I feel like one or both of you is kind of focused on what you no longer, what you don't have versus what you do have. I feel like, um, you know, she's got some glorious bowls in her hand or this glorious bowl in her hand. She's kind of watching something slip down the drain and she's got three empty bowls next to her. So I feel like it's um, not focused on what you have, just focused on what you've lost or what you're losing. Sorry, my dog is um, bothering me. <laughs> Um, you'd think she didn't have attention all day. She has. Um, so let's get into your read though, guys. I feel like it's a, a one that, um, one of you or both of you is kind of focused on what you don't have versus what you do have. Your energy, you are showing up very guarded, Taurus. You're showing up as this wounded, oh my gosh, wounded warrior energy, right? So you're showing up like you've been tattered, you've been beaten a little, you've been kind of knocked down a few times, and you're you're really being protective of your heart. You're keeping your heart closed. You're really untrustworthy of anybody. I mean, look at this girl in this card. She's looking like, yeah, mm -hmm, tell me what you want to say. I don't believe anything that's coming out of your mouth. Um, so I feel like you've been through a lot, Taurus. I feel like you've been through a lot. You're keeping yourself extremely guarded, and you're very like analytical about situations that come that have to do with love. You think about them, you overanalyze them, you're very critical, like a critical thinker about the situation. You want to cut out all the nonsense, and you want people to be direct. I feel like sometimes, Taurus, your communication might be a little harsh. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Um, but you are coming off kind of harsh and kind of closed off is the energy I'm getting from you. From your person, I feel like we have five of swords, six of pentacles, six of cups, so five, six, six. So I feel like they have been set, they've been sitting in this energy of defeat. Um, I don't think this is related to you. So I feel like your issues and their issues are not related to each other's issues, okay? Um, but I feel like this five of swords, they're defeated, they're kind of sad. I do see them getting balance in their life. I do see them being a very balanced person. I do see this being a soul connection for you with the Six of Cups cards. I do see this as a potential reunion. However, I don't think this is someone that you've dated. I feel like this is someone you know from your past. I'm not even sure there was any intimate romantic connection in the past situation, but there's going to be in the future. Um, so I feel like this person gives you very warm feelings. This is nostalgic. This is fun. This is energy of a past friend. Um, maybe someone like you guys were crushing on or maybe talked to for a little bit, but I don't feel like this is someone you've had a significant relationship with. This is someone who is balanced. This is someone who is going to give what they get and take what they give. It's going to be a very equally balanced situation between you and this person. They're very balanced. They're very giving. They're very generous. The outcome, guys, I have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, which are amazing cards. This is the Happily Ever After card, True Love, Romance, Marriage, Soulmate. This is uh, Financial Stability, Emotional Stability, Blended Families, House, Home, Security, Stability, um, Committed, Loyal, Loving. And then we have the Seven of Swords. I almost feel like, guys, I'm going to clarify, but I really feel like this is um, like self-doubt, uh, lying to yourself, self-sabotaging kind of energy. 
Um, I think you're both going to be doing that when you have like an amazing freaking situation. And again, it will be like look, oh, looking at the past, right? Um, but it will be a higher level commitment. Oh, and underneath that is the emperor, which is the divine masculine. Underneath that is a tower. So this is unexpected. Underneath that is the two of cups, which is true love soulmate energy. Underneath that is the ace of wands, passion. Underneath that is the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and the King of Cups, and the Magician. It goes on and on. All great cards. I feel like this is definitely a great connection. Um, I feel like damage has been done between the two of you before you got together. But let me just clarify this Seven of Swords energy. Page of Wands. Yep. Looks like a player energy. Hangman. Hey, yeah. So this energy is, of, a, of I think it's a previous situation. We have seven of wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like it could have been a, a previous marriage for one of you or both of you. Um, I feel like this person was player energy. This person was not faithful, was not committed, was immature, and really kind of stagnant in relationships and did a lot of harm in terms of you being able to trust somebody. So I feel like that um, you guys coming together, you and this new person coming together, I feel like it's going to be a fantastic connection. Um, you will both have to work on your past issues, though. Perhaps together. I think your clear-cut, uh, direct conversation will help your person know where you're coming from. Let's get some Love and Romance Journey Oracle cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. Be gentle. Mm, yep. And that's like a marriage. Yep. Final move. Yep. And yeah, and shadow work. Yes, guys. Yes, I love it when it all lines up. I feel like you guys are doing your shadow work. I feel like when you do come together, you will both need to be gentle, be understanding. I do think this is the final move for both of you. And I do think it will result in a marriage. I like it a lot. All right. This is the Soul's Reflection Love Oracle deck. So let's get a couple cards. Weather out the storm. Yes. Open for love. Yes. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have clarity. Clear your thoughts to see what is in front of you. Yeah. Instead of what is gone from you, right? See what's, one, what's in front of you. See this glorious bowl. It's there. Maybe it's just someone you've never thought of in that way. But it's going to organically come together. All right, let's get the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from Hermit Tarot for Tauruses. This deck's like not one to shuffle very easily. You are wrong. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Ace of Wands. Let me get one more card. I guess two. I could be your hero, baby, six. So we have three sixes, and I'm open to compromise. I feel like um, I feel like this person and you may have had conversations. This will resonate for some of you, um, where perhaps you have made comments uh, like, I could take care of you. I could, you know, if you gave me a chance, and the other person's like, no, you're wrong. That's not going to happen. But now they're kind of um, stating they're more open to compromise. And listening to your message of you kind of saying you would be their hero, you're going to be feeling lots of passion for this person. And they're going to lots of passion for this person. And they're going to feel it towards you as well. I feel like the you are so beautiful, why do you need me, is actually going to be coming from you. Um, you're going to be kind of questioning your person's need for you. Um, and I think... I guess it could go both ways, but I feel like that's going to be your energy, Taurus. All right, let's get a couple heart-to-heart -heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracles. I am freezing all of it. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Messages for Taurus. My mind is full of you. I still repeat the things you said to me in my head. So I feel like... Um, I feel like, like I said in the beginning, this is someone you know. I don't think this is someone that you necessarily had had love with 100% or like anything intimate with. Um, 
but I feel like you've had conversations, you've had experiences. So this person still thinks of what you say. I think that's them saying that to you. And then um, my mind is full of you. I think that's you. I think, I think you're the one that's going to recognize it and move towards it. All right, we're going to get the New Orleans Oracle deck for Taurus. What message does Taurus need to see? Gratitude, number six. Let me read from the booklet. Gratitude, second line. Second line parades are a staple of New Orleans culture. The uplifting music and dance signify prevailing circumstances through celebration. Whether in celebration, whether in celebration of marriage, death, or just good times in between, second line parades have always emphasized leaning on gratitude and appreciation because all is never lost. This card signifies that it's time for you to remember to celebrate. Sometimes looking at the big picture and all the steps in between the beginning and the end can make it seem like an overwhelming, endless journey. Giving yourself moments to enjoy every accomplishment or give, yeah, giving yourself moments to enjoy any accomplishment, even if it's just the fact that you're still trying, is reason enough to celebrate. Sorry, the more you uh, tap into your gratitude and appreciation, the sooner you will see things moving more quickly in your desired direction. Feel the music of life, dance a little, you're on your way and you have always been. So that's your message for you, Tauruses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care.